All right, in this uh, lesson here, we're going to be talking about solving quadratic equations by factoring. So first off, we need to understand what does it mean by quadratic. We should know what equations are and what we've been doing on the factoring scale there. So let's look at what is a quadratic. A quadratic is a polynomial that has degree 2. Okay. Um, and here's an example, x squared plus 6x plus 8. Here's where the equation is, we throw an equal sign, is equal to 0. Okay. What we're going to do here is, is we're going to find the solutions to this equation and what we're going to do is we're going to factor it and then set each factor equal to zero. So just like in the previous section on factoring polynomials um, or factoring trinomials in this case because there's three terms uh, we're going to go through that uh, same process. So I'm going to start with an x and an x here. Okay. Two numbers are multiplied together it gives us eight but when we add them, we get 6. Mm, what about a 2 and a 4? 2 here and a 4. 2 times 4 is 8, and 4 plus 2 is 6. I'm going to put a plus sign and a plus sign. Set it equal to 0 still. Now I'm going to set each one of these equal to 0 and solve for x and this becomes x is equal to negative 2. Um, if you took negative 2 and you plugged it back in here we get negative 2 plus 2 is 0 so that's going to be one of our solutions and then we have x plus 4 setting that equal to 0 and this is just going to be negative 4 will be our solution to this equation plugging negative 4 and negative 4 plus 4 is 0 so the solutions to this equation up here are negative 2 and negative 4. Okay. All right, looking at another example. Whoa. We have x squared plus 2x, and we're going to set that equal to 0. So what numbers can we plug into here? in order to give us zero out. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to factor an x out and we'll be left with x plus 2. Well guess what? We're pretty much done now. Now what we want to do is set each factor equal to zero and x plus 2 equal to zero and obviously the only solution to this equation is zero, right? x is 0, then both sides are equal, and negative 2. Because if I were to put negative 2 in, negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So our solutions to this equation up here are 0 and negative 2. Alright, what about 4x squared minus 9? Setting that equal to 0. Now what we could do here is, um, well we could write this as a, whoops, that should be a 2 right there. 2x squared minus 3 squared, that would be the difference of 2 squares. And so this ends up becoming 2x minus 3 times 2x plus 3, setting each one of these equal to 0, each one of these factors, and 2x plus 3. And of course we end up with x is equal to 3 halves after solving for x, and x is equal to negative 3 halves and if we were to plug this back into this equation, the 3 halves, this side should equal 0. If not, we did something wrong. I'm sure we did. 
let's go ahead and check this real quick. So I'm going to take the three halves and plug it in up here. In fact, I'm just going to check one of them since they're both the same, but one's negative. So if I were to say four times three halves squared minus nine. So let's see if this is true. So three halves squared, so it's going to be three times three is nine and two squared is four times four minus nine and so as you can see that our fours here cancel out and we're just going to be left with a nine and nine minus nine is zero so this side here is equal to zero so that works out now if we tried the negative and a negative squared is positive so we just end up with the same thing as the same as using three halves. All right, let's look at um, 8x squared plus 19x plus 6 and equal to 0. And we're trying to find the solutions to this equation. All right, um, let's look at the uh, factors of 8. Well, 1 goes into 8, right? And 8, 1 times 8 is 8. And 2 times 4 is also 8, so we could use 2 or 4. And I believe that's it. If we were to look at the 6 here, that'd be 1 times 6 and 2 times 3. So let's just get lucky here and use 1 and 8. How's that? I'm not going to write a 1 here, so I'll just write an x. And I said 8. Okay, um, let's see. So we're going to get hopefully lucky with that. And let's see, let's use the 2 and the 3. Let's see, 2 times 3 is 6. We need a positive 6, though. So that means that they're either both negative or they're both positive. Let's see, x times 3 is 3x, and uh, we forgot to put an x right here. Okay, 3x and 16x, 16 and 3 is 19, so it looks like a plus. All right, let's see. And of course, this is equal to 0. Now we set each one of these equal to 0, 8x plus 3, and we solve for x. Well, negative 2 is a solution, negative 2 plus 2 is 0, and then in this particular case, negative 3 eighths is going to be a solution to this equation. Um, you might want to look in the section on uh, solving linear equations if you don't know how to do this. All right, and uh, okay, I'll, and I'll let you check that out. Take a negative 2, plugging it in, and this side should equal 0. And if you plug negative 3 eighths in, this side uh, had better be equal to 0 also. All right, let's see here. We have uh, 12x squared minus 31x plus 9 is equal to 0. So we're going to look at this to see 1 and 12. We could use that. Um, 2 and 6, we can use that. And 3 and 4. Okay, and 9, we say we can use 1 and 9 or 3 and 3. So I'm going to use a 3x and a 4x. I'm going to use the 3 and the 4. And then for these two numbers here, I think I'll use the 1 and a 9. OK. <clears throat> now I have to determine my signs here.
let's put a minus here and because that's a positive 9 we'll need to put a minus here also okay well you know obviously I've already got this stuff worked out and I'm looking at my cheat sheet on that so I don't waste time when I'm making these videos we don't want to have to do a bunch of erasing but once you do these uh, for a long period of time I mean over years you know you can kinda of go oh yeah it's this number and this number here but sometimes when you're first learning this stuff um, you have to kinda of do a little trial and error thing and you know we we might have used a 1 and a 12 and then looked at that real fast but you know one of the keys are is we know that this number times this number right is 9 and that because it's positive these are either both gonna to have to be plus or they're both gonna to have to be negative and you know so I kinda look at that about the same time I'm looking at hey what do these numbers need to be um, anyway now what we want to do is, is go ahead and set both of our factors equal to zero so 3x minus 1 because remember we're trying to find the solutions to this equation up here let's not lose uh, focus okay um, bring the 1 over and then multiplying both sides by 1 third so one of our solutions is x is equal to one third and then another one of the solutions is going to be nine fourths now let me just say something here real quick um, sometimes instructors don't like to see this x is equal to one third uh, even though as far as I'm concerned this is still proper you know this is the solution to this equation but uh, anyway sometimes there's a conflict uh, about that and then so sometimes I'll just write the number and say okay this is the solution to this equation um, anyway as long as we know that these are the solutions to these two equations up here but they're also the solution altogether both of these are the solution to our quadratic equation up here okay the quadratic equation these are our two solutions alright well moving right along let's let's work another one you can never work enough math problems. All right. Um, I don't think anybody officially ever said that, but I did. That comes from me. 2x plus 5 is equal to 40. Let's see, plus 25. x minus 6x squared a quadratic equation could look like this let's get everything over to uh, one side and uh, you know it's usually everything's over to the left hand side so I'm going to take this negative 6x squared over to the left and it becomes a positive 6x squared taking this uh, 25 over so minus 25x and we have plus 2x of course that comes from here and then plus 5 and then taking this 40 over is going to be minus 40 and it's all equal to 0 alright rewriting we have 6x squared minus let's see negative 25 plus 2 is uh, what is that minus 23x and then minus 35, 5 minus 40. Okay, so now we want to uh, factor this thing. Now I'm just going to tell you that I don't have this actually worked out, so this ought to be interesting. Factors of 6 is, uh, let's see, we got 1 times 6 and 2 times 3. So hopefully, it won't take us very long. 35, you have 1 and 35, and 7 and 5. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use 1 and 6. I don't know how long this is going to take to do this problem. And down here, let's use a 7 and a 5. So you're going to see trial and error in, in, um, in action here. x times 6x is 6x squared. Let's see, uh, 
Well, what are we going to do? This is a minus 35. If I put a minus here and a plus here, let's look at this. So we're going to have 6x squared. x times 5 is 5x. And 7 times 6 is 42. Minus 42 and 5, that's not going to get us 23. And if I was to put a plus here and a minus here, Okay, so that would be 5x, 42, and that's not going to get it either because we need to have a minus here. So let's, so that doesn't work. Right, we'll cross that out. How about x, and then we'll put 5 over here this time, and 6x, and 7 over here. So x is C 7x, and 30x, yes, that will definitely get us. And so that needs to be a minus and a plus. Oh, forgot. We don't want to forget that. Okay, now we can. So that should be it. And, of course, negative 5 times positive 7 is negative 35. So we set each one of these factors equal to 0. And the solution to this one's going to be 5. And so we have 6x plus 7. Setting that equal to 0. And that's going to be a negative 7. 6 will be the solution uh, to this equation. So these are our solutions to our equation. Now... Going back up to the original here, which was this guy here, if we were to plug our solutions in, substitute them in for our x's here, we should still get this left side equaling the right side. So I'll let you do that and verify that. Let me know how that works out. All right, well, I think I'm done with uh, showing some examples on solving quadratic equations by factoring.